Hello and welcome to a new series of videos that we're going to try on the Cycling Weekly channel, which is tech questions. So the first tech question we've got here is, is the compact chain set, the 5034, dead? The introduction of the compact chain set in the mid 2000s was kind of a defining point in road bike design because the smaller 50 tooth and 34 tooth chain rings opened up road cycling to a much wider audience. So I've got a compact here, it's a nice Ultegra one. And the nice thing about the compact was that it meant riders could ride a road bike with easier gears but still maintain the look of a traditional road bike with two chain rings without the need of having to go for a triple chain set and its associated image problems. By having the smaller rings on a compact, it meant that riders could spin up gradients that would otherwise see them just churning and grinding away if they were in a standard 5339. If we fast forward to the present day, then, you know, although the compact chain set is very good for climbing, we've also seen another change and that is cassettes. So cassette ratios were typically 11 to 23 in the early 2000s, but then that's now shifted so that 1128 is kind of the norm and most pro riders use that. But also longer cage derailleurs have become more popular as well. And this opens up the option to run 1132 cassettes. And you know, they're really offering a great amount of versatility. But the advantage is kind of like, you've got the top end gear, for, so you're not gonna be spinning out on descents, but you've also got a lower, low end gear as well. So, it, you know, it begs the question, with a 5236 and an 1128, do you really need a compact chain set? But perhaps the most apparent trend in modern gearing on road bikes is the introduction of the 5236 mid compact chain set. And the idea behind it is that you're addressing the deficiencies of both the compact chain set and the standard chain set, which might not have a low enough gear ratio or a high enough gear ratio, depending on which one you use. And because of this, mid compacts have kind of definitely gained a large proportion of the market and come standard on a lot of bikes now. So I guess the more specific question is, is it time to wave goodbye to the compact chain set and the standard chain set, and perhaps embrace the new dawn of the 5236 mid compact, but when used in conjunction with a wide ranging cassette? Well, here's what some experts seem to think about the matter. David Martinez is Rotor's head of engineering, and he told us that the compact became popular when nine cog cassettes were the norm. But now with 11 speed, it's become more logical for us to take advantage of the extra gears and just increase the range. He goes on to say that from a mechanical point of view, reducing the smallest cassette cog results in lost efficiency. And the logical way to widen gearing is through chain ring size and the use of a 28 tooth cog on the rear. With a 5236 and an 1128 cassette, the gear range is increased both up and down the range compared to using a 5034 and an 1125, while you also maintain adequate shifting between all the cogs. Plus, a 5236 chainring combination is still mechanically efficient for the front derailleur. What that means is, is that you're not going to drop the chain. If you have too big a gap between the chain rings at the front, so for example, if you used a 52 and a 34, you could be at risk of dropping the chain because it's a big gap for the train to fall when you change gear. We also spoke to SRAM's road manager, Geraldine Bergeron, and she doesn't see compact chain sets going away anytime soon. And the reason for this, she says, is because experience, terrain, fitness, and riding style all factor in to people's gear selection and they're all different for a wide range of different people. In this case, trends might not be the right choice. The current dominant commercial specs are for a 5236 with an 1128 cassette or for a 5034 compact chain set and an 1132 cassette. Now, although compact losing some volume to a 5236, 
it's not going away. This is pretty interesting coming from SRAM, seeing as they're a brand that are currently pioneering and pushing single ring setups. This sentiment also seems to be shared by Shimano as well, with Shimano Europe's Ben Hilsden telling us that, you know, whether a compact chain set or a wider ratio cassette is better depends on many factors, such as the route, the physical strength of the rider, the length of the ride, and there is kind of no one best solution. And I guess you could sort of agree with this because you think, on the toughest days of Grand Tours, such as when they go up climbs like the fearsome Mortirolo Pass or the Angrelu in Spain, we've seen the world's best climbers like Alberto Contador fitting 5034 compact chain sets with 1132 granny gear cassettes on the back as well so that they can spin and not ruin their legs too much. Me personally, I tend to ride a 5236 most of the time with an 1128 cassette, but I tend to change the cassette depending on where I'm riding. So if I'm gonna be riding in a nice flat area, I quite like the tightness ratio of having an 1125. But if I go to say the Lake District, which is one of my favorite places to ride, then there's regularly climbs that are around 25% there and having an 1132 on the back really makes a massive difference. But if you're new to road cycling or you live in a hilly area all the time, then a 5034 can be a great option. But for me, the biggest downside of a 5034 setup is that when I'm descending or on a fast descent or a very fast stretch of road, I can often feel that I'm spinning out and I prefer to have a bigger gear to push against. And so I quite prefer the idea of putting a bigger cassette on a 5236, but that's just me. So to summarize, I feel that the 5236 offers the greatest versatility of all the chain set options because you have now the option to fit very wide cassettes and different cassettes on the back. And you don't feel like you're gonna be spinning out as much as you do if you run a 5034. So if you're new to cycling, a 5034 is a great option and it's what I started out with myself. But perhaps the question we should be saying is, is the 5339, the standard chain set, the one that's really dead or dying? Because it's only really used by professionals these days, and there's not many of them. So that was our first tech question, and we're gonna be making more of these videos in the future. So if you've got any ideas for tech questions that you would like us to answer, then please let us know in the comment section below, and we'll go through them all. And also, let us know what you think about the compact chain set and what gears you use and what you think are the most optimal setup. So until then, we'll see you next time. And if you like this video, then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the Cycling Weekly channel.